Okay, so we're comfortable playing in time. We're comfortable doing the turn. Now we're going to really make it sound sweet. We are going to transform our jigga 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 jig into tu maraka tu maraka tu maraka tu. We're going to add some swing. Okay, so uh, this is really one of the main functions of the shaker in the bateria is to glue together all those little notes that give swing to the sound, make it transform it from sounding like a, a robot to sounding like some really nice Brazilian music. Um, this is what I mean by the sound. Jigga jigga jig is straight. And tu maraca tu maraca tu maraca tu is swung. Straight. Swung. Longer on each one, straight. And swap. Okay, you hear the difference? So what what's happening there is each jigger jigger, each set of four little notes per beat is being squeezed together. You're starting bang on the beat, but you're kind of squeezing the rest of them, especially the last couple, earlier. So there's then a gap before you play the next set of four. So instead of being one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Not as much as that, obviously, but that's kind of what's happening. The most important thing though is just to listen and feel that sound. Feel the, the, the flavor of that swing. It's very hard to describe apart from just doing that. So again, straight. One, two, three, four. And when we're saying that, we can say jigga, 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 jig. But in most Brazilian rhythms, we're going to want the swing. So instead of jigga, jig, we're going to want to say tu maraca, tu maraca, tu maraca, tu. Tu maraca, and then a little pause. Tu maraca. Tu maraca, tu maraca, tu maraca, tu. One, two, three, four. That goes hand in hand with the accent, with the, the dynamics, as well as the timing. Because if we're doing a little pause on the last note, the tu maraca, then we're naturally going to want to hit the first note louder, and that's exactly what we want with the swing. And then we're ready. Yeah. So we're kind of throwing into the tu sound, letting it rush through maraca. We finish backwards on a loud one on the ka, and then a loud one to start again. Loud, soft, soft, loud. Loud, soft, soft, loud. And that'll naturally happen with the flow. Hit the first and the last. Tu maraca. Remember what we were saying about single notes being a bit bigger, a little bit bigger movements, a little bit harder into the fingers and thumb. That's what we want on the tu and the ka. And the mara sound, almost no effort at all, just let your fingers just guide it through. Throw it back, cut, put the cast down. So you could do the same exercises as the last lesson, but with the swing. One, two, three, four. Try making it straight. That's completely dead straight. And then swing. And then straight. Two, three, four. And when we do it straight, we can say jigger, jigger.
C'est tout malaka. Okay. And also, you could really exaggerate the swing. Too much swing. Yeah, too much, but it's good practice. That's way too much, but if you can get the feel of that, then it'll help ease it down to a nice swing. Okay? Um, so for all Brazilian stuff, all Latin American stuff really, we want that nice swing to maracatu. For all Western stuff, like a funk, like a drum and bass, you're probably going to want to go straight. Having said that, a little bit of swing, shake a swing, it just makes it feel sweeter, even on the Western stuff, but just not too much. So that's swing for sure.